input alternator. Let's see. Ah. Ooh, can't forget to pick up that package. Wonder what's in it. Hmm. Guess I need to go here for that. Ah, can't forget Uncle Dave's birthday. He always throws such excellent parties at the compound. Now where is that? Mm-hmm. Man, I sure hope I get to sleep in tomorrow. Hi there and welcome back to Postal 2. Today is Friday, it is Poets Day in the world of paradise and we are going to have a hell of a day in front of us. We've got lots of things to do, but first we're going to read the newspaper. Glad to see my tax dollars aren't going to waste. Mm-hmm, and you know what? Thing occurs to me, you know, we've got to get an alternator today, but what if we didn't have a car? We wouldn't need an alternator, would we? Let's carry on. And of course, we are raiding this guy's house again. You know, every day he replaces this stuff. He must get right sick of us just rocking up in here and then kicking his window in. In fact, every day he's replaced that window. What a... He, that is a man of means and, you know, he's like... He's got one thing on his mind and that thing is not having a broken mirror. Or even a window. Mirrors are quite like windows, except for one you can see through, one you can't. Unless it's day and a dark outside or something. I don't know. This is just going horribly. Let's carry on. First thing we're going to do today is go and pick up our package from the package place. Because, you know, it's so exciting to get a package in the mail. This immediately. What was that postal dude? I didn't quite catch you there. I was talking over you. Anyway, we're gonna go and get our package first from the parcel center. Let's go! And my spider sensors are tingling here and they are telling me that there are gonna be snipers on the rooftop here so we're just gonna have a little preemptive strike from these fuckers. That's one. And good thing I have these amazing psychic abilities otherwise they might be blowing me the fuck up right now and this is something I'm not willing to pub with today. Uh, yes. Oh no, he's not dead and I've just been hit by a rocket, but that's okay. I'm made of stern stuff. What? Just die, you bastard. Is he dead? Yes, okay, right. All good. It's okay, madam. It's okay. Take solace in this. The bad man is now dead. Um, let's carry on to the puzzle center. And look, there's another one up there. You know, I'm not just making some sort of racial uh, assumption to get with his guard, but rest assured he will shoot at me if I give him the opportunity. Look, he's got a gun and everything, you know. Point proved, I feel. Oh, no, someone shot. I'm pr trying to protect myself here, mate. You don't need to get aggro at me. Oh, no, I'm in trouble with the police again. Oh, dear. It just seems like whatever I do, I just get involved in some sort of barney or something. And, uh, you know, it's just... Life's just so hard for me. Piss. I need to take a piss as well. Oh, God, let's go and see if this person in this house will help us out. Knock, knock. Hello, I just want to use your facilities, ah, don't be upset, I just, you know, I really need to take a piss, my player character has just said that he needs that badly, and, oh god, where's the toilet in this place, who designs these places, I don't know, this must be it. Yes, unoccupied, and I'm so desperate for a piss, I'm just gonna piss on the mirror. Ugh. Ah. Oh, I definitely need to get this looked at. Let's see... Ah. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That does not look a healthy shade of green to me. Uh, you seem to have picked up a venereal disease from somewhere, Postal Dude. Where have you picked it up from? I mean, I thought you were in a loving, committed relationship with your wife. How, how did two people who only exclusively have sex with each other pick up diseases of the venereal distinction? It's not possible, is it? I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm not a doctor or anything, so don't let me get in. Oh, God, these guys are kicking off as well. It's just like, it's like the end of the world or something. And here's some protesters, and frankly, it's time for a preemptive strike, and the police are not happy with me. They are. Fi they feel that my preemptive strike was unwarranted. Well, I tell you what, it certainly won't, officers. I know these things, and I know from my psychic abilities that those guys were going to attack me. They were going to attack the hell out of me. And I'm a bit worried here because I think these army guys are going to get pretty aggro of us as well. Um, oh no, they're actually cool of us. Well, that's one thing, you know. The army guys, they're not made of presumptions. They, they're they going to take it easy today. They're not going to shoot us. Anyway, here we are at the Paradise Parcel Centre. And before I get shot in the face, let's go in and pick up our package. Look out. And I ask you, how difficult can it be to pick up a package? I'm thinking that not very, you know, I think it's going to be relatively easy. Let's go and pick it up. Hello, faithful po postal worker, help us out. Hi there. Hey, 
Hey! I've got a note that says there's a package for me. Last name's Dude. Let's see here. Yes, Mr. Dude. We do have a package for you, but there's some postage due on it. Fuck you. That'll be 100 bucks. A hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. And look, I can just see the parcel over there. Uh, we're gonna risk it. Give me the parcel! I want the parcel! Yeah! Got me a parcel, baby! Boo yeah! But oh, I feel like these postal workers are not impressed. So we're just gonna use our deployer to cow head there to sort them out. And as for you, madam, have a grenade. Yeah. Now I'm going to find it myself. What? I packed up. I picked up up already. What are you talking about? Oh well, never mind. That cow head is probably doing more harm and good there. But never mind. On we go. Uh, just use the old fire. It is, of course, the great equalizer in this game. All we do set everything on fire and uh, just let the pandemonium continue. These people have got have been asking for this though. To be fair, I mean, you know, I'm literally here to pick up a parcel, a nice person. and they want to hit me with an extortionate charge of a hundred bucks. You know, what did they expect? They brought them brought this on themselves. Just you know. It's just bad luck, really, you know. I realise that, you know, I'm partly to blame for this, but I can't I can't help it, you know. We've just got to make the best of a bad situation here. Smoking this a health pipe. Good for me, but I feel great. Indeed, just to... Oh, God, here I am, trying to get past the flaming corpses. You know, it, everything's just going wrong for me. It's just not fair. I'm completely the innocent party in this I suppose it was situation. First. Absolutely, and you know, I, you try your best, you know, you really try your best, but everyone just wants to get on your nerves and in your way, and you feel, you feel like sometimes like giving up, that enough is enough, but no, we have to continue on, we have to manage to get through this somehow, and I think mainly the way of doing that is keeping a positive mental attitude, and just, you know, Trying to be reasonable. Oh, this post office sure does have a lot of employees. Well, I mean, I guess it did anyway. Uh, carrying on through this labyrinthian hellhole. Uh, we're going to use some more. F oh, grenade, I'll do. Uh oh. Oh dear, you've been distracted from the carnage. Three shots to the head there. She was a tough one, she was. In a other life, I guess we could have been friends, but oh well, it just wasn't meant to be. Let's get some more gas out. And as we see there, the great equaliser. And we just smoke another health pipe. Can't be good for me, but I feel great. And we're all better, you know. How would you like it if somebody called you a lunatic? Indeed, you know, someone called me a sociopath in the thread. Can you believe that? I mean, it was uh, what completely unfounded. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't want to have to piss on my own face with my infected piss. But there we are. It had to be done. And looks like we've taken out a good proportion of these guys ipso facto with our flaming attacks. This guy's attacking us on... Whoa, that was a bit disturbing. Oh no. Oh dear. This is going bad rather quickly. Oh dear, sorry about this. It's taking a fair bit of concentration here. You can see the uh, concentration of enemies here and what I'm up against. It's just... This is a hell of a day. Hell of a day. Oh dear. Yep. Just get out of here. Ah, yes. 
Right. God, I'm going through these health pipes. That array of nuts. I'm chain smoking these bad things. Oh well. Oh, there was some health right there. Oh well. Nothing I can do now. More time for more fire. You might call me cheesy, but this is just survival at work. That's the ticket. Oh, and I get to piss in my own mouth with my own infected piss again. Well, bloody wonderful. Oh well, never mind. Uh, don't set me on fire, please. Thank you very much. Just uh, run and spread the flaming love. I think that's what you need to do. Oh, just lay down and die, would you? Good old Deagle sorts it out for us once again. And I see you there, standing with your bloody rocket launcher. Don't think you just get away with that shit from me. Just do some. And you know what? I bet there's some bastard around the other side as well, just waiting, lying in wait for us. Yeah, there is. Take that. And you can just... You might think you're just going to spawn in there for no reason, but you're just not going to get away with it today, I'm afraid. Just put you out of your misery for a start as well. Oh, you, you've just become unclippable. Oh, well, never mind. I suppose you got what you wanted, and that is... A flaming death for you. Pissing on the ceiling once again to instantly set ourselves out. You know what, mate? You're guilty by association. Just get out of here. Oh, you know what? See you later. And one more group offended. Guess I'm just not a people person. Good thing I have Kevlar. Wait, do I have Kevlar? Well, work it out, dude. You either do or you don't. Right, so, although that was a hell of an experience, you know, who would have thought that going to get a parcel would have been so hard? Never mind, we're going to carry on. Afternoon, Father. How are you doing today? Pretty good. I think you'll find the post office is closed. Couldn't tell you why.